Tonight we're here for the opening celebration for our exhibition Sports More Than Just a Game, which is presenting an inclusive social history, exciting history of sports and athletics culture in Greenwich and the surrounding regions. I think what makes this exhibit really unique and different is that not only do we get to talk about the celebrity athletes who lived in Greenwich and are pretty well known, the Steve Youngs and the Tom Seavers, but there's also the opportunity to talk about people who've been forgotten. Helen Meany, the first Greenwich Olympian, and Worthy Patterson, Greenwich boy who was the first African-American at UConn to be drafted by the NBA. These are important people, important stories, and they help connect us. Hi, I'm Steve Young, and I grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut. I loved my time in Greenwich. Sports history is a social history because it connects people and families. It's a part of their home. What I love most about this exhibit are the stories, the story about George Bush meeting Babe Ruth and Donna DeVarona coming up as a female in the sport and all the things that she's done to make sports more widely available to women. I think sports history is important because you're looking at people that dare to be great, dare to make a difference without any guarantees. I was told a woman's voice has no credibility in other sports and you're just a swimmer, what else do you know? I was trying to break a barrier when I was a little bit too young, but I never gave up, and that's what I learned in my sport. You never give up. I think it's important to preserve the history of Helen because I think she has a unique story. She was in the Olympics in the 20s. It was just when women got the right to vote. So I think it was empowering that she was able to go to the Olympics, represent the United States, and she showed that she was number one in the world. It's not just about the great athletes, but it's about the movement of athletics and what it's meant for people, whether it's gender equality and other things that are being focused on here um, really make a difference to say, wow, I could be an athlete too. I love the opportunity to create. I love the opportunity to affect and bring together many different people um, using my love of sports. So I feel very privileged to be living in the intersection of community inclusion and athletics. It relates to values that we aspire to as a culture like patience and hard work, and those are values that, that reflect more than a sport. And they're part of American culture. I think sports reinforces that. When there's a young kid that wants to see my memorabilia through this historical society, what I want them to see is the failures as well as, as the successes, so that there's a connection to being 13 years old and saying, hey, look, I don't feel like much of a success today, but neither was Steve Young, and that's okay. Having a historical society to constantly remind people of that rich history and to introduce it to people who may not be aware of it is something special. And I encourage anybody who hasn't been here to the new campus to come by, it's well worth a visit. For me, sports has always been about town pride. Sports is what connects us together and create really strong bonds. The kids and the coaches, the parents and teachers, and all the local heroes we looked up to, it's pretty special. I guess in a way it makes us who we are.